Hi everyone, this is the Disney Animated Project Pan update! Woo! Update! Uh, this is a Fantastic Lady collab, everyone will be linked down below. Robin created this tag, so Robin, thank you so much for including the Fantastic Ladies and me in this. Uh, I am not a big Disney person, but I thought this might be kind of fun to do. So, let's dive in because I've actually finished two items. I'm very excited. One was expected, one was a bit of like a shock, so <laughs> let me show you what those are. The first one is the La Vie Est Belle for Beauty and the Beast and Belle. I love this fragrance. As you can see, I was down there last month, so it was really easy for me to finish just that little bit. So I really like this fragrance. My husband says I smell like makeup when I wear it, and uh, I like that. I'm okay smelling like makeup. So this is gone. The other one that I put in, this is the Taylor Swift Enchanted Wonderstruck for the movie Enchanted. And this was a, what do they call them? A balm fragrance? A pard fragrance? A solid. A fragrance solid. And I use that up really fast. Like, I can't turn this anymore to pull up this. You kind of like do a little like that. But what am, I, what am I showing you? It's a fragrance. It smells really good though. This does not last a long time on me, but I like the scent of it. But I'm not going to repurchase it because there's no need to repurchase a fragrance that doesn't last a long time. Uh, but let me show you. It's right here. So I was. Th this is how much product I used up in a month, as well as finishing up that other fragrance. I was apparently I was bathing in fragrance. <laughs> apparently I was just bathing in fragrance last month. Um, okay, so let's go into some other things, shall we? So my generic, like, Disney animated things were I had this Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer, and I forgot really to use this. I probably used it five or six times, but you know, eyeshadow primers, you use a pinhead amount, so I'm still at the same level. As you can see, if you use it for a full month, you get good progress. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't use it for a full month, you get, like, no discernible progress. I do have it on today, so, because I finally was like, oh, I should use that again. Yeah, Julie, you should use this every time, because you only have one more month, and uh, you're not going to finish it. <laughs> you know, it's funny, this project, I, I'm not going to finish a whole lot of things. So I put in, what is it, 15 items. I've currently finished, I'm looking at my paper, four, and I've decluttered two. So six out of 14. <laughs> Whatever. And then I have some blushes. So technically, I met my goal on this blush. I just wanted to see if I wanted to keep it or not, and I do. This is the cinematic blush, because Disney's cinematic. Uh, it's just a matte, lovely nude shade. It's like a deep nude. It's fantastic. Um, I do want to keep this in my collection. <laughs> I actually really enjoy that one for fall, so I'm going to continue doing that. I also have Elf in the shade Twinkle Pink, uh, Twinkle for Tinkerbell, and I actually have this on my cheeks today. That gives like a nice shine, like look at that shine. And it's from the glitters that are in here. So this is your dupe for orgasm, although it's not very dupey for orgasm. I don't know why people say that. Um, maybe because it's a gold glimmer in it, but this is much more peach than orgasm is, and definitely not as pigmented. However, it's nice, and I enjoy it. I've used it for probably three weeks straight. Not straight, like I kind of rotate like one blush one week, another blush another week, so I get use out of it. I get use out of it. <laughs> and my goal is just to hit pan on this, and uh, I don't know if I gave you close enough, but I'm nowhere close to pan. Like, nowhere close to pan. Probably because I've only used it three weeks. <laughs> and it's a full-size blush product. And uh, that's, you know, you probably use up one blush a year. If I can hit pan on a blush, I'd be extremely happy. Um, for my bronzer, this is the Pocahontas bronzer. This was a collection with Walgreens. And again, my goal is to hit pan on this. Although I didn't realize when I put this in, it's 13 grams of product. Um, but I've really been focusing my brush right here. You can see, can you see? I've got a dip now. You can kind of see it, right? Right where the leaf used to be. And you can't see it straight on. There, I mean, that's your best look. I don't think I'm going to hit pan because 
13 grams is a whole lot of product. Even as a big pan, like, you know, it's the size of my hand. It's, it's still too much. However, I am enjoying it. It's a nice matte bronzer. I've got it on today. I actually put it very heavily on my cheek for some reason. I was just like, bronzer! And then I was like, but why am I using it like blush? I mean, you can, but like, not the look I was going for today. But I've got it in the three, and I think it looks really nice. It doesn't last all day, I will say that. That's my one negative about this bronzer, is it wears off at like the five hour mark. But, I mean, it's fine. I still like the packaging. <laughs> I initially bought it for the packaging. Uh, I've got the NYX, uh, what is this technically called? Illuminating powder in the shade Snow Rose. So this is for Snow White. And the dip is only getting bigger in there. And you might be like, it doesn't look very much bigger than the last month. I know, but it's closer. <laughs> I am using it. I've got it on a, as a highlight today. It has a dual shift to it. It also goes pink. You might not be able to see it. Uh, trust me on it. It's just, it's like a white pink. And it's very, very pretty. I really enjoy the iridescence of this highlighter. I know I'm behind on that. I'm behind on that trend, but we're just going to go with, like, I'm right on trend there. <laughs> and I've really enjoyed playing with that this week, too. Um, again, this is another one because I've got another highlighter and another one of my projects. I'm kind of rotating week by week which ones I use. So there you go. Something that I've used twice, and I can kind of show progress, but also kind of not. This is the NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade Ice. This is for Frozen. And can you see, I am just under that line. Like if I marked it to the top of that line and I'm under that line, I've used the thickness of a Sharpie. <laughs> this is a fabulous glitter. If you like glitters, check out the NYX ones. They actually, I just saw an Ulta. They have a holiday kit, clit, mm, mm, a holiday kit of glitters. I think it's for $50 for 10 of them. And I was just thinking, that's a really good deal. <laughs> They think each one is for, no, maybe it's for $40, because I think they're $4.50 a piece. So it'd be $45 for 10 of them, and I think they were $40, plus it came, came with the um, the glue, the glitter glue. I thought that was a really good deal. Uh, but I'm excited to continue to use this, and uh, I like this one. I like this one. Again, that's the shade Ice. It kind of turns to a bit green shift on it, which is cool. Then I have the Rimmel London Show Off Lip Lacquer in the shade Out of This World. Bada boom, bada bing. And what's interesting about this is I've used this this month and the hole has gotten bigger here, but the product hasn't gone down. So <laughs> that happened. <laughs> but I'm gonna focus on it this, this coming month. So like, the first half of October through the, the end of November. And hopefully this is gone. Maybe I should apply it now. I should apply it now. Because you know, you're not gonna use anything up without applying it multiple times. It leaves like that really nice shine on your lips. But it really, it's like a metallic. And I like it. I think it looks really good. <laughs> That's actually my third time applying it today. <laughs> I was wearing another lip color. And then I, we're just going to layer it on. It's fine. It's fine. Last but not least is an item that I um, started last month using. This is for Moana. This is a Pacifica for Pacific for her Polynesian uh, theme. This is a Pacifica eyeliner in the shade what you, Fringe. And it's just this. Love this. Love it so much. It's great. It's what I got on my eyes today. It's super creamy. It's really beautiful. It's easy to blend. If you make a mistake, you just wipe it away. But it stays all day long. I love it. I am I'm. I don't know how expensive these Pacific liners are, but uh, I think it's pretty awesome. If you go to my sheet here, I am right there. Do you see? So that's pretty good progress for one month. There to there is one month of progress. So that to me means I should have my sharpening. How do I just to like, do you see the swirls on the, you see the swirls? I want to be like at that part of the swirl, right at the bottom there. 
So not to the words yet, but very, very close to the words. That should be the same amount of use as last month. And I'm really enjoying this eyeliner. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be sad to see this go. I don't remember where I got this from, but if you use Pacifica Natural Minerals, and it's just, it doesn't have like a particular name, it just says the word fringe on it. If you know, if they sell that, let me know down below because I wanna repurchase it once I get through my other 40 eyeliners. Yay, 40 eyeliners. Um, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you check out all the other ladies working on this project, and I really appreciate your time. Have a great day. Bye.